Kia ora Year 11, 12 and 13. This is a scholarship calc question from 2015 that Aidan asked me to have a look at. And it's all about a tank that contains 200 litres of brine, which is salt solution in water. So as soon as you read it, you kind of know that it's going to be a differential equations question. And it's not too bad once you work through it slowly and figure out some really basic information that's kind of disguised. So let's have a wee look. We've got a tank that contains 200 litres of brine, and initially the concentration is 0.5 kilograms of salt per litre. And then we've got brine coming into the tank. So brine con containing 0.8 kilograms of salt per litre runs into the tank at a rate of 6 litres per minute, but the mixture is kept thoroughly mixed and it's running out at the same rate. So we have to figure out how long it takes for the amount of salt in the tank to be 130 kilograms. So I'm gonna show you the schedule at the end, but I wanna show you exactly how I did this without looking at the schedule, because um, the schedule makes everything into quite nice fractions. And I think that um, you might not do all of that simplification on the first go through. So let's see what we can figure out from the question. Well. The first thing I looked at is that we've got 200 litres of brine and we've got an initial concentration of 0.5 kilograms of salt per litre. And what we're interested in figuring out is when is the amount of salt in the tank going to be 130 kilograms. So the variable that I'm working with here is salt and we're going to call that S. It's not brine except that the salt is inside the brine, is contained in the brine. So if we know that the initial concentration is 0.5 kilograms of salt per litre, then we know that salt at T equals 0 is equal to 0 0.5 times 200, which is um, 100 kilograms of salt. So what's the next thing that we know? Well, the brine is coming in at 6 litres per minute, and it's got a higher concentration of salt. But it's also going out at the same rate. Now, and the stuff going out is going out from the whole tank, right? So we're trying to get um, an amount of salt. When is the amount of salt equal to 130 kilograms? And we can see that it started at 100. So the salt's going to go up over time, and we're solving for time. So we need to set up a DE. And it's going to be ds by dt, and it's going to have two bits. It's going to have a part for the salt coming in, and it's going to have a part for the salt going out. Now, the salt coming in is pretty easy, because we're told that the rate of inflow is 6 litres per minute, lots and lots of underlining tonight, and the concentration is 0.8 kilograms per litre. right? So 0 0.8 times 6 is equal to 4.8. So there's 4.8 kilograms of salt coming in per minute. Right now, what about the salt going out? Well, we know that the inflow is six litres of liquid per minute, right? And the outflow is at the same rate. So there's six litres going out. So the outflow is going to be six litres times the proportion of salt, so the S divided by the V. So this is the concentration. Now, when you see this, this is what I wrote down first when I looked at it. So we've got dS by dt is equal to 4.8 minus 6S over V. And my heart sank for a minute because I saw S and I saw V. I saw two variables. But the volume is constant, right? We know that the inflow and the outflow are the same, and we know that there's 200 litres. So that means that the volume is always 200. And that means that we get this. ds by dt is equal to 4.8 minus 6 over 200s. And for once, I wrote that as a decimal. I, I don't know what happened to me, but I did. So there we go. That's what we got. And now that I'm down to there, this is back to being a level 3 question, probably not even an excellence one. So let's go get on with that and separate the variables. Please don't stop watching. It's really lonely when you all turn off the video after two minutes. So separating the variables, we've got this. 1 over 4.8 minus 0.03s ds is equal to 1 dt, and we'll integrate that as well. Um, here we get negative 1 over negative 0.03. Whoops don't need two negative signs, 
times the natural log of 4.8 minus 0.03s equals t plus c. So the log of 4.8 minus 0.03s is equal to negative 0.03 times t plus c, which is negative 0.03t plus c dash. So let's do e to the power to both sides. It gives us 4.8 minus 0.03s is equal to a e to the negative 0.03t, right? I'm not going through that step there very slowly because it's two days before the scholarship exam and I'm hoping you know that by now. So let's keep on going. All we've got to do now is solve it. Um, but I am going to go through that here. So what do I know? Well, at t equals 0, s is equal to 100. So that gives me the following equation. I've got 4.8 minus 3 is equal to a, e to the 0. So a is equal to 1.8, giving me... 4.8 minus 0.03s is equal to 1.8e to the negative 0.03t. Now you probably could substitute in there and, and do it some smart way on your calculator, but we're in a scholarship exam, so we're going to show what s is equal to. Um, what have we got? 4.8 minus 1.8e to the negative 0.03t is equal to 0. 0.3s. So now I'm going to get rid of that horrible decimal. Um, 4.8 over 0 0.03 minus 1.8 over 0 0.03 is equal to s. And I get some nice round numbers now. So this gives me 160 minus 60 e to the negative 0.03t, so that's s. Now we need to solve for when is the level of salt 130. So we get 130 is equal to 160 minus this, um, negative 30 over negative 60 is equal to e to the negative 0.03t. Well, this is like doing a level 3 video now, right? So 0 0.5 is equal to this. Take logs of both sides. And we should end up with t is equal to, um, I suppose I should write the next line out, shouldn't I? t is equal to this, which is 23.1, and I think it was minutes. All right, so as usual, the hardest part is all about the setup and just thinking really carefully about what do I know about the salt and what do I know, what do I know about the brine and realising that the volume doesn't change, that it's always constant at 200 litres. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you've got any very last minute questions. I'm just about to do a really hard one from 2016, which is going to be question 4B and then 4C.